today I'm going to be going over part of Psalm 69. And as always, I pray that the Holy Spirit gets this to the right person at the right time. Psalm 69, starting in verse 1. Save me, O God, for the waters have come up to my neck. I sink in the murray depths, where there is no foothold. I have come in, into the deep waters. The floods engulf me. I am worn out, calling for help. My throat is parched. My eyes fail, looking for my God. Those who hate me without reason outnumber the hairs on my head. Many are my enemies without cause, those who seek to destroy me. I am forced to restore what I did not steal. Have you ever heard the phrase, God never gives you more than what you can handle? Well, that is an incomplete phrase. The full phrase is, God never gives you more than you can handle without him. Verse 5. You, God, know my folly. My guilt is not hidden from you. Some people, I'm sure that there are a good amount of people out there that do have hidden sins, and whatever it may be for them, they might be able to hide it well from other people, but nobody can hide anything from God. He knows everything. Verse 6. Lord, the Lord Almighty, may those who hope in you not be disgraced because of me. God of Israel, may those who seek you not be put to shame because of me. For I endure scorn for your sake, and shame covers my faith. Covers my faith. Why do I keep saying faith? And shame covers my face. That's the word, sorry. I am a foreigner to my own family, a stranger to my... Uh, own mother's children. For zeal, your house consumes me, and the insults of those who insult you follow me. When you give your life to Christ and you're serious about it, there will be people that won't like you anymore. There, there will be people who won't want anything to do with you anymore. Some people might not be able to explain it, but the Holy Spirit in you bothers the absence of the Holy Spirit in them. Let's see, verse 10. When I weep and fast, I must endure scorn. When I put on sackcloth, people make sport of me. Those who sit at the gate mock me, and I am the song of the drunkards. But I pray to you, Lord, in the time of your favor. In your great love, O God, answer me with your sure salvation. Rescue me from the mire, and do not let me sink. Deliver me from those who hate me, from the deep waters. Do not let the flood waters engulf me, or the depths swallow me up, or the pit close its mouth over me. Answer me, Lord, out of the goodness of your love, in your great mercy turn to me. Do not hide your face from your servant. Answer me quickly, for I am in trouble. Yes, we are going to go through difficult times, even when you're a believer in Christ. Like, a lot of people, there's a misconception out there that says, when you give your life to Christ, everything's going to be just fine. Now, everything will be just fine when you consistently place your hope and faith in Jesus Christ, but that does not automatically mean that every single aspect of your life is going to be easier. You're still going to go through difficult times. Anyone tells you otherwise, they're not telling you the truth. Think of it this way. If, let's say wa Satan is walking down the street and he's at a street corner. He looks to his left and sees somebody living for the world. He looks at that person living for the world and thinks, I don't have to worry about them. They're not following Christ. Whatever. Then he, then he looks to his right, and then he sees somebody who is serious about Jesus Christ. Now, he automatically does not like that person. 